Good morning and welcome to making your own protractor. Now, uh, I was looking online on YouTube. I had some students asking, hey, I don't have a protractor. How can I get a protractor? And uh, you can't because all the stores are closed right now. So, but you can go online and there's a million different websites that you can print protractors off of. I found one <coughs> here called cool to be kids like b like the letter b here i'll hold it up to see that cool to be kids here's a protractor it looks pretty and it says check it out printable protractor with ruler ba, ba, ba. there we go we got uh, inches down here centimeters here and it even says actual size uh, spoiler alert, it's not the actual size. I held it up to a ruler. Check it. Oh, this ruler doesn't even have inches. The inches and the centimeters are off uh, by quite a bit. That might be my printer, but it also might be your printer. Who knows? That's not important because what we're using is these angles up here. So I'll put a link down here to this cool to be kids protractor you can print off or find any other protractor printed off. Or if you don't have a printer, I'm gonna hold it up. There, okay, check it out. I'm holding it up to the screen. Now pause the screen. Oh wait, you can't hear the instructions if you pause the screen. Okay, I'll give you instructions first. I'm gonna hold it up to the screen and then you just trace it straight off your computer screen uh, after you pause it. Okay, now I'm holding, now pause it. And now trace it off the screen. Okay, good. All right, now you all have a protractor printed out on a piece of paper. Next thing to do is we're gonna need to cut this out. I need scissors. Scissors, hopefully you have better scissors than this because these kind of suck, they're small, but whatever. Okay, we wanna cut straight across this bottom line here. Can you see that? Yeah. We're cutting across the bottom line. Uh, if you don't know how to cut out a line, then you're watching the wrong video. <laughs> okay, cut this nice straight line. It's important to cut it straight so you can see the angles that you're measuring. Hopefully you have better scissors than this. At least these aren't the safety scissors. There we go. And then we're gonna cut up along the circle. Now this is where people usually edit their YouTube videos so you don't have to listen to them talking. But uh, uh, fortunately, I don't care to spend my time editing videos. You're just gonna have to listen to me talking while I cut this paper out. Another important thing to remember, if you're gonna be using this protractor for more than one day, uh, you might want to get some like cardstock or cardboard or something else to cut out. It's looking good to cut out and put on the back, or you could even glue it to cardboard or cardstock first and then cut the shape out so it's good and sturdy and they look the same. Bump, there's our protractor. Okay, we got our. Uh, 90 degrees, that's important. You want to have that. We got 45 degrees up here. We'll use that a lot in grade five. And then uh, we got like 135 degrees. That's going to be right between 130 and 140. And, uh, and then you might use like 30 and uh, 75 degrees. You're, you're going to use all of them to measure stuff. But uh, if you're drawing your own or tracing it, make sure you get your 90, your 30, or go by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 180 over on this side. Now we need this piece in the middle cut out so that we can see through. Uh, if you got something pokey, just jab it through so your scissors can get in there and cut it out. This would be a little easier on paper than it will if you've already glued cardstock to the back. There we go. We'll cut this out, and then as soon as I'm done, I'll show you how to measure angles with this homemade protractor. 
All right. So, if you're doing your math work, um, and you have this protractor, you should be able to to hold it up to the angles. One thing to remember when you are oh man, this is crazy stuff. There you go. One thing to remember when you're doing your your angles is down here in the bottom of the protractor. So there's like a little tiny, can you see it right where the corner, the tip of my nose would be, the little circle? And does it look like I'm staring at it if I cross my eyes? Right there, that little circle that I'm looking at, that part there, you need that cut out. Because if you put your angle right down here at the bottom of the page, at the bottom of this thing here, uh, notice that this protractor, the zero doesn't start until just up there so that you could have a ruler. So if I was gonna measure, here's some angles. If I was gonna measure and I and I put it right at the bottom, look, it's less than zero. So that's that's a mistake. So we gotta fix that. Uh, the way we fix that is we make sure that this part here is cut out. If you have a hole punch, you could hold your hole punch right up there. But if you don't, you can just take some scissors and cut like a little bit out. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just cutting this little bit out here. Watch my fingers. Oh, look, I didn't clip my fingernails today. My fingernails grow really fast. I don't know why. But uh, it's kind of a curse. There we go. Now that I get that little piece out, I can make sure the corner goes right on there. See where my nose is right in the middle? The corner of the angle goes right in there. You could use like a hole punch. I got a hole punch here somewhere. That's it. Ukulele! Eh, permit. Hi -oh. uh, Where's that hole punch? Hole punch. This is the big hole punch. You could hole punch it. If you got a hole punch at home. I don't have a hole punch at home. But I do have a hole punch at school. I got a, a whole punch, a whole punches, a whole bunch of them. All right. Oh, you can't even really see it. I hole punched it right in the center there. So now we can use it for an angle. Where are some angles? All right. Let's measure an angle. So we can take this now. We can hold it up. Make sure that zero is on the line. Oh, there we go. Make sure the corner is right in there. Beauty. Look at that, 90 degrees. I drew that by hand myself. That's pretty good. Well, it might be like 91 degrees. All right, there's one. Let's measure another angle over here. Okay, let's see. We gotta get that line like right there. Straighten it out. Shoot, that's like 110, 150, that's 120, maybe like 112, 112 degrees. Measure this angle over here. Let's see if our thing is working. Oh, see, this is why a cardstock would be good. Or like doing like a proper YouTube video, like studio thing. But there we go. Zero, what's that? Like between 20 and 30, 20 and 25. I call that like 23, 24 degrees. So there it is. There's your homemade protractor. Hopefully that helps. Remember, click on the link down here to, to print this off. Or... I could hold it up and you could pause it and trace it. Or you could, no, that wouldn't work, never mind. Yeah, just, just print it off is the easiest way. Good luck.